Hello everyone and welcome to episode 17 of the TW2020 New Japan Pro Wrestling Series now in the year 2021 as it is the New Beginning Tour and I am super excited to see how this one plays out. Three big shows in one episode and I think this New Japan and New Beginning in USA show might just be one of the best shows you've ever put together as far as on paper. We'll see how it actually plays out. Obviously being in America it's going to be a little different as far as what we usually do, as far as uh, usually, I'd say, you know, our main events are pretty much a guarantee, but in America, you're never really exactly sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, we do have a pretty big main event in Kazuchika Okada defending his U.S. title against Joe Doring, which, at least on paper, that's a pretty good main event. Obviously, this would be a lot better in Japan, but, um, you know, I think Okada's still going to be able to do at least in the 70s, hopefully. Not exactly sure, to be honest. We'll, uh, we'll have to see. As far as uh, we'll uh, go through the uh, tour goals and whatnot, as uh, you know, we're going to want to get back to the 80-plus show ratings, which we should hopefully be able to do. Uh, we're two pop sizes away from big, and uh, you know that's going to be awesome once we get up to big, which hopefully we will be able to uh, after this episode. Hopefully we'll be at least either one point away or right there uh, with it, you know, as far as we'll be in big for the next, uh, for the New Japan Cup. So that'd be pretty awesome to uh, start back where we were uh, when we started when we were in big. And of course, we kind of ran it to the ground thanks to the best Super Junior. Hopefully that changes things. Hopefully this best Super Junior this year goes a little bit better. So yeah, we already talked about the three big events in one episode. Uh, so the Golden Lovers are going to make their return to the U.S. and to New Japan as uh, we're going to have... Uh, through, uh, it's in the mid card. It's the last kind of prelim match before the title matches. Brody Lee and Evil of Dark Order taking on the Golden Lovers. Pretty fun. Uh, you know, it should be should be a lot of fun to see how Kenny does. And obviously, I think Kenny. I think pop wise, I think he's the best as far as highest pop on this show in U.S. So at least we know that match is going to go pretty well. As, uh, yeah, and uh, we're going to have the debut of uh, Liberty United on this tour. So Liberty United, it's kind of the babyface answer to Task Force Death. It's kind of like a Gaijin to Gucci Japan, if you want to call it. So basically, because Tomato Fin Juice is no longer a thing, it's just now Tomato Juice. Put them together with the Super Iron Destroyers of Jeff Cobb and Toa Inari, with also Alex Shelley and Alexander Hammerstone. So it's kind of like a combination of that, so hence why on the New Beginning in U.S. show, there's going to be a Shatora Shino and Pack versus Juice Robinson and Alex Shelley match. So that should be pretty fun. And also, you know, I think Shelley's probably going to perform. I don't know, though. Pac obviously, you know, has pop in, in U.S. too, so... But, uh, yeah, Alex Shelley so far has been one of the best guys we've had on New Japan Strong, and it's been pretty awesome for us. So that, that should be a pretty fun match. The one match I'm kind of not so excited about is the Caristico, Cinta de Oro, and Samurai del Sol six man against LA Park, LLL Del, LA Park, and Flyer just because just because LA Park and LLL Del, uh, LA Park, those two have good pop, but they don't really do as far as spe especially LA Park, but we'll see. Uh, as far as, well, you know, since we kind of mix matched around through the card, we'll actually run through the entire thing for everyone. As uh, Team Filthy, uh, Josh Alexander, Daniel Garcia could take on uh, Chaos and uh, making his Chaos debut, and let alone his New Japan debut in a pretty big match. Just Tomoya, Harada, and Tomori Ishii take on uh, Josh Alexander and Daniel Garcia. Pretty fun opener. Pretty fun opener. Uh, you know, obviously Harada's in a big time spot, but he's probably going to be the, as far as performance wise, probably going to be the worst of the four, but that's just because he's not over in America and that you can't really fault him for that. Really, we're going to start kind of gauging how he's going to do when he's actually in Japan. So, But uh, that's, that's a pretty fun opener, though, uh, as far as we're officially finally Harada has been waiting literally almost a year to make his debut. And just had to wait for, wait for our uh, right time, and I think it's uh, I think it's now, you know, especially the way we've kind of reorganized chaos and we're kind of letting some guys go. You know, Mikey Knuckles is leaving. Yoshiashi's not great. You know, we're, we're trying to add some more firepower to chaos. So, yeah, I think that's the right decision there. Uh, we already talked about that six man. So, Miro is going to team with Eddie Kingston. The reason behind that is, you know, we're going to hype up Cobb and Miro. 
their title match that's happening. I forget if it's the New Beginning in Sapporo or Osaka show. I have it written down, uh, but I can't see it right now. Uh, but I want to say it is in Sapporo. We'll see. Uh, but that should be a pretty fun match, though, between Miro and Jeff Cobb. And for the, you know, here in the States, most of those guys have pop in America. And I'm not sure about Tolanari, but, like, Miro obviously does, and Kingston and Jeff Cobb obviously do as well. So, I mean, pretty fun match to do the, you know, having three tag matches kind of back-to-back-to-back like that is a little interesting, but I think they're three different type of ones. you got kind of four kind of heavy hitters in the Miro, Kingston, Cobb, Hanare match, the Super Island Destroyers. Then you got Ashino and Pac, Juice and Shelly, so kind of heavyweight junior tag matches, and Brody and Eve on the Golden Lovers. That's just, hey, the Golden Lovers are back type of thing. And the Golden Elite, you know, uh, taking on the Dark Order. Pretty fun. And uh, Brody's going to do really well, I think, in that match as well. Really, the only guy I'm worried about in that match is Evil, but he's going to get carried. So I'm not too nervous about that. As uh, the New Japan Strong Openweight title match, as Minoru Suzuki looking to take on Zack Sabre Jr., obviously the two men no strange to each other. You have the former Suzuki Goon member taking on the leader here, and you have him going in as the champion, looking to beat Minoru Suzuki, and really claim that, you know, this United Empire is going to be a very big deal in New Japan. And, uh, you know, for Minoru Suzuki, this is, you know, chance to add another accolade to the resume, and that's uh, you know, he'll be the first uh, Japanese guy to actually hold this New Japan Strong open weight title. So that's going to be fun. So far, it's kind of just been, you know, we've had Gaijin after Gaijin hold it. And, uh, you know, as far as we had Shetley as the first one and Zach now, Suzuki being the third person, could add a little bit more oomph into that. As for the IWGP Tag Team titles, Disciples of Darkness take on the Young Bucks. Disciples of Darkness, of course, beat the Young Bucks during the tag league, so hence why this match is happening. Uh, but this, show, I mean, that's a big time opportunity for the Disciples of Darkness here. Can they beat them again? And can we have new IWGP Tag Team Champions? Uh, we shall see. And in the main event, of course, we talked about already. Joe Doring taking on Kazuchika Okada. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a very awesome match uh, as far as what how it will do here in the states. Not really sure as far as Okada's pop goes. I want to say it's in the mid 40s, mid maybe even 50s in the U.S. I think Jay and I think Joe Doring rather is kind of somewhat the same level of guy. I think maybe a little lower than that. You know what? What can you do? You know, it'd probably be the smart decision. Put the Bucks on last, but I went with Joe Doring and Okada because that definitely would be the main. Definitely should be the main at least. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's a fun main event. We'll see how the card goes, as we already got a pre-booked, ready to go. So let's hop on our fucking awesome, the King of Coliseum 2, well, the uh, shots of his. So the Sam's Town, Las Vegas, that's where Ring of Honor runs a lot, or at least they used to. They uh, Their anniversary shows used to run there. So that's uh, a little promising. We'll see, as far as the uh, best idea where we should run this. We got a backstage incident, oh, Liger. Help create a fun, relaxed atmosphere backstage after finding a discarded karaoke machine as an impromptu pre-show competition. Hell yeah. I like to think it's just like uh, Yakuza Zero, where uh, <laughs> it's just a minigame. Now I can... That's what happens when I've been playing that for the past three days. That was just... My first thought was just uh, just Liger. And I'm hitting all the buttons to make him uh, sing the right notes. Be, uh, be pretty... What a visual. <laughs> what I need in my life is Ishii passing on tapes on microphone work to Arata. It's fun. Alright, so, I uh, just want to make sure, holy shit, man, yeah, we're, too bad we're not running in Kanto. 6,000. Yeah, it looks like 6,000, 7,000, kind of anywhere that we want. If we want to run the Mid-South area, Southwest, or Tri-State, you know, we ran the <laughs> Manhattan Center, funny enough. Not wrestle, uh, not the Madison Square Garden. We'd uh, not even come close to a salad again this time, but at least we're slow, slowly growing. We'll just kind of look and see what we can do. Not a lot of great options of venues. A nightclub. <laughs> so let's, uh, that was, uh, yeah, the Sam's Town. Oh, right here. That's 6,000 right on the dot. And, I mean, not a terrible idea. Yeah, I mean, let's, uh, I think we're running. I'm just kind of curious what would be the Mid-South Arena. 
can we run if we can even really run anything uh, is uh oh a little too much we'll go with five and say ten oh yeah we'd, we'd have close to a sellout in uh when that'd be running in new mexico that kind of be funny in topeka kansas yeah, Wichita Falls. Not a lot of, like, Odessa. Runs, yeah, that's just kind of a lot of uh, not huge arenas. So, yeah, I think we'll, we'll keep that same down. Yeah, uh, you know, so, main event. Joe Doran, Kazuchika Okada. Okada's gonna go over, uh, obviously. Uh, 32 minutes. Pretty awesome. Yeah, well, look at their pop now while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, mid, you know, low 50s for Okada and Joe Doring, low 40s. I'm, I'm cool with it. Cool with it. As then the Cybers of Darkness and the Bucks. The Bucks will be getting the win as they're going to pin Nick Hobb, or they're going to pin Will Hobbs, rather. I, I like to just think, just, you know, super kick party, the death type of finish. They're not going to do anything like a Meltzer driver on them or anything, so they're going to think smart. And uh, just psychology-wise... Interesting matchup, you know that I, I was intrigued by this for the first time we had a, uh, and for the tag league, you just have two just absolute units of a man and uh, Calvin Tankman and Will Hobbs take on the Bucks. Uh, it's just psychology, you know, wise. It's it's intriguing. We'll see how it comes out though, in in, uh, in the states at least. And uh, Suzuki and Zach, which uh, Zach's going to win. So no title change happening on this show. It's going to go 18. Pretty fun, though. I think that match. And Brody Lee and Evil against the Golden Lovers. So Omega's going to get the win. He's going to beat Evil. That's just a nice win for uh, Kenny there. And uh, so then we'll uh, do Shotoro Shino and Pac against uh, Liberty United as uh, Shotoro Shino will be beating Alex Shelley there. Maybe not. Yeah, just maybe not, because he's got 39 pop. I think, honestly, what we're going to do, we're going to have Shelley beat Pac, and then that's going to set up for a title match. And, uh, yeah, because, I mean, pretty high ratings, and then hopefully Shelley's... Oof. Not a lot. We'll have to keep Pac strong here. That's fine. This is kind of torn, you know, with that one, because Juice had pretty good pop. Really, the, the worst guy in the match was, was as far as pop-wise, was going to be Ashino. And I think uh, we made the right decision, though. I think, at least. So, uh, Miro and Kingston against the Super Island Destroyers. Kings is going to win. I don't like that. <laughs> I'll be honest. I love Eddie Kingston, and I love uh, that him and Miro are just going to team. But if someone's going to win, I would like the established team to get a win. Just that's kind of like old school kind of thinking as far as like having the team that's never teamed before beating a team that an established team too just kind of doesn't doesn't sit right with me. So we're just gonna go with Hanari beating Kingston, even though I'm sure Hanari's pop in America is not that. It's 26, I guess. It's not too bad. We'll keep him strong though, just to cover our, our bases. Yep, and then the Lucha Six Man. Scaristico is going to be flyer. We're going to have that seal the show. We'll see if it actually does. In the opener, Alexander and Garcia against Harada and Ishii. As a, yeah, Harada, obviously, pretty good deathmatch guy and uh, pretty solid all around. Just technically, though, not the most sound guy in the world. Yeah, I mean, his pop's not great anywhere. Uh, but, you know, as far as the charisma's there, the psychology's there, he has the tools. And I think kind of having chaos get a little beefier and, and getting a little tougher you know i think i really enjoy that as well so at, at some point we're gonna bring in toro Su, uh, suju as well we have him signed on the roster i'm just kind of waiting for that right time he'll probably end up joining chaos as well because i want chaos to get a little tougher it's kind of the thought process behind that because we have a lot of juniors there like we got six juniors in chaos because we have francesco eagles rocky and then uh show and yo and I, oh no, five. <laughs> Never mind. I was thinking there was six, but yeah, there's there's only five. Um, but still, you know, that's that's a lot. And uh, yeah, but uh, Josh Alexander is gonna get the win though. And just we'll we'll kind of switch gears real quick. He's gonna beat Harada, but definitely looking to 
to make chaos have a little more edge to them. And uh, so we got our main card set. I'm thinking singles matches for the pre-show. Now that's kind of weird. And that's not really our style usually, but I'm feeling feeling like it's a good idea. We'll have a uh, Fred Rosser beat. Honestly, Jacob Fought 2 isn't great in this mod. I'm not sure why, because I definitely feel like he's, his stats should be a little bit more better. Uh, really, the minutes is, is like the only one I'm like, yeah, that, that makes sense. But kind of the rest, not some, I like I'd bump his brawling up a little bit, stuff like that. But it's just kind of nitpicking. Um, yeah, we'll have just JR Kratos. Nothing. Yeah, because we really haven't used him a whole lot. 10 minutes, just Fred's gonna get the win. No harm, no foul type of situation there. Oh, outran the show on accident. And the uh, next singles match, maybe, uh, maybe some Young Lion action. I'm trying to think which one has more pop. If it's, uh, oh, as a. Clark Hunt. Nope, they both are in the same. I guess we can have them team up. Not, not a terrible idea. Oh, maybe, uh, yeah, the Reynolds and Silver. Kind of like a match to get everybody amped up. To, you know, seeing Dark Order get a win. Of, uh, John Boy. Doesn't matter who he pins. Nice. Yeah, I mean, not not too crazy of a match, but I think it's going to be better than that Fred Ross or Jack Reynolds match. I could be wrong. Either way, I think that's the card. Just curious to see all the... So, Anari, Cobb, and Kings. So, just that tag match. I guess we can give it uh, less time. Let's bump it down to 16 and see what we get. That helped it out. Oh, that, that did the trick. All right. <laughs> Let's run the show. And yeah, 50. Yeah, it's probably going to be better than 50, that tag match. It's Fred Rosser and J.R. Kratos as uh, Fred gets the win at 10.29 with a gut check. 50 for Fred and 38 for J.R. Kratos. 56. Oh, wow. Yeah, Silver and uh, Reynolds. 55.50. Not bad. It's Silver with the Enziguri. 9.53. There is a thought to uh, add a New Japan Strong Openweight Tag title. And uh, the Alex Reynolds and John Silver would probably be like one of the top as far as, like, first teams to win. It's probably a good idea. But yeah, Coughlin and Connors have excellent chemistry. Uh, but the I mean, low 40s for a team that doesn't have any pop in America, that's actually not bad at all. Like, they did better than Kratos did. So there's, there is that. 55 for the opener. And it's, uh, Josh Alexander, best guy in the match. So he gets the win with the TKO. Yeah, Rada with a 25. Not great. A little too short, too. Interesting enough. I got, got the show up to a strong start. So we'll take it. The 68. Wow. Whoa, I definitely... It didn't... I figured that, you know, that Caristico would do pretty well, but I really didn't factor in Cinder de Aura and Samurai del Sol, too, which, I mean, I, when you have, like, a WWE run, you're probably going to do pretty well in America, at least. You're probably going to do, like, mid-60s. Especially for, like, a sh uh, company like us. Uh, but, yeah, big win there for the uh, Caristico Cinta de Oro and Samurai del Sol team. It's Caristico pinning a fly with a La Mystica. 12.55. I just feel like that, that's a great idea, you know, having just a, a trios match on the card. Probably, as far as, like, kind of psychology-wise, if I was to do this for real, probably wouldn't even bother with Ishii and Harada Alexander and Garcia probably would have had this kick off the show because I mean that that's a great way to start the show off I think but they got the crowd buzzing though so at least in, either way you know, it works that's a 68 though well, that might be one of the best matches we'll have on the show as uh, Kingston and Miro lose to Hanare and Jeff Cobb changed you know my mind last minute but probably the wrong decision because you, you see there at least you know with Miro and Kingston like they actually are the better team as far as in-ring performance wise but Hanare pinning uh, Eddie, Kings Eddie Kingston with the uh, spinning spine buster. Also, in hindsight, probably should have just had Cobb beat him, you know? But that's hard to bump up Cobb even more. But that's okay. Hey, we're trying to make a guy into <laughs> Hanare. That's what we're going to say. 
Whoa, a 75. Did not expect that. Pac with an 85. Jesus Christ. As uh, Juice and Alex Shelley of Liberty United beat Shatori Shino and Pac of the Task Force Deaths. As uh, Shelley taps out Pac with the Border City Stretch. What a... I mean, that's... that's all. I mean, 70 and 85, though, for Pac and Alex Shelley. That's pretty awesome. As Pac was head and shoulders above everyone else. Juice was the weak link. Probably should have just had him lose. But that's all right. I mean, look at Sh Shador Sheena, level 68. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I'm an 80. Whoa. As uh, Omega pins Evil uh, after the Golden Trigger in 2134. So Omega with an 82, Brody with a 76, and Bushi with a 71. I'm surprised by that. Uh, and then Evil with a 49, he's off his game. Which I figured he'd be the worst guy for sure. And was going to be the weak link, so. Right prediction there. Very good match, though. Very, very good. Oof. Yeah, Suzuki just couldn't do it. But Zach, I mean, he... Talk about a carry job here. 76 of 38. Like, not even close. But uh, Zach makes his first defense, beating his former leader. The little United Empire Suzuki Goon. Singles match. Pretty awesome leader versus leader, too. We'll see what happens in the co-main now. Oh! 57. Wow, as the Bucks make their second offense. As, uh, well, they, they did hit the Melter Driver. I don't know if I would be busting that out, though. I'd definitely need multiple super kicks. Just kind of an overkill of super kicks in a way. Where uh, there's like six of them. <laughs> like, it's nuts. It's just uh, three each, you know. Uh, Matt and Nick Jackson just laying it in. 57, though, in the co main. That's, that's going to be tough to overcome. The chronic knee pain is, is tough, too. Hopefully he'll be able to work, because he's supposed to, you know... We got the Bucks scheduled for another title match uh, on the next uh, big show here in Sapporo. So that's... We're going to need that to happen. <laughs> that would suck if not. And it was Will Hobbs who caused it. God damn it. Main event to 74. Thank God for Kazuchika Okada. As he defeats Joe Doring in 32 minutes of the Rainmaker and making his first defense... I have the idea of the GPU United States title. So yeah, I mean, carrying Joe Doring there. Great stuff, though. Yeah, I mean, we lost one pop. And I'm assuming that's in Japan. Assuming that's probably Kanto, but... You know, probably the Golden Lovers, Brody Lee, Evil. Obviously, that should have been on last, but I wanted to give credit to, the, you know... Didn't want to have the last match be a non-title tag match. Just felt like it wouldn't make any sense. But at least, you know, Kata Joe Doring at least did really well. Because if not, that would have been quite a disaster of a shot. I'm surprised Zack and Suzuki even did better than that tag match. I had a lot of hopes for that uh, Young Bucks Disciples of Darkness match. Should have, uh... Should have went uh, elsewhere, though. But I felt like having four tag matches, like back-to-back-to-back to back to back like that, wouldn't have been a great idea. I think it was a nice split in the card. So, uh, putting over people. Definitely Zach. I mean, he was... He, Zach and Pack and... Let's see. Probably, uh... Yeah, I guess Omega. Even though he's not part of the roster. Hey, yeah, we should probably do Okada instead. Yeah, I think that's just for the best there. Pleased, happy, and pleased again. Alright, so yeah, now... On to, uh, I think we have two Road 2 shows before Sapporo, uh, the new beginning of Sapporo show, and then we'll end out the tour in Osaka. But yeah, one down, uh, two to go as far as the big shows, and I think as a whole, there are seven shows, so we'll have six more left. We'll just double check before we end out the recording, uh, first part of the recording here of this episode. We got a lot to sim through. Oh yeah, completely or no, we already went through all that. Oh, CMLL selling venues. They must, that's right the CMLL is kind of knee deep in the shit here as far as finances. Yeah, um let's see here. Oh yeah, six shows. Alright, so we have five more. Oh no, we have six more. Never mind. <laughs> I'm an idiot. We had seven. I was right. Alright, so uh, on to uh, this uh, Road to New Beginning show. Alrighty, so it's kind of weird to start now with the official Road to New, Be <laughs> New Beginning tour when the, uh, we already just had the U.S. show. And we, it's not the start of the episode, but uh, for this Cork and All show, which I don't think we'll be changing, 
as far as uh, the what the show is going to look like going into New Beginning in Sapporo, uh, that was at least for this one day, because it will be, uh, or at least two days, and we'll be at the New Beginning in Sapporo show. The show looks like this. I just realized I haven't made graphics for any of these matches, which kind of, well, you know, that, that does take away at least from the uh, the fun part of it, the, seeing the graphics of all the, uh, the stuff, but luckily it's not a huge blow, uh, but it does still suck. And so the main event, Hiroki Goto. Getting an IWGP Everweight title match. Obviously, that stems from him shocking the world and beating Kota Ibushi in the G1. And he gets his title match. He waited, obviously. Ibushi, you know, didn't win the G1, so he didn't get a title match then. He ended up getting the G1 briefcase, though. At least that, and now that Kota Ibushi's champion just felt like it was right that he would get his uh, rematch and get a title shot here at a new beginning in Sapporo. As the Young Bucks, they look to defend their belts yet again, this time against the non Shingo of LIJ in a big time match. That should be a hell of a co main. Now, with the injury, though, that does suck because uh, Nick's, luckily, he, he's still able to work. He'll just have to work through the injury. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm still excited to see how that one plays out. It's never open with title match. Jeff Cobb Miro, we kind of talked about that in the New Beginning USA show. As a Brody Lee and Black Taurus take on Kota Bushi and Rice Gitaguchi, a little heavyweight junior tag match again. Uh, but this time it's Dark Order and uh, Kota Bushi with Taguchi, so not really going the lead, but kind of the same breath. Then LIJ Bullet Club, or not Kota Bushi, Jesus. Uh, that's supposed to be. Oh, no, nah, we got that all. We had Kota Bushi double block, that's not right. As uh, Brody Lee and Black Taurus, it was supposed to be Omega and Taguchi, but I don't think we can get Omega. Again, and if we do, I don't want to make it, uh, maybe, you know, I guess that could be kind of, I, I don't think we'll, we'll do it instead. I think that match is going to get scrapped, so we'll just kind of leave it, uh, blank for now. Uh, so we'll go on to the six man, that is, uh, LIJ Bullet Club, Bushi Hiromu Naito against, uh, Jay White, Kent, and Ishimori. That's a really fun match on paper. Obviously, Hiromu Naito, that's going to be the main event of New Beginning Osaka, he challenged uh, Hiromu, challenged Naito at, at the uh, New, J uh, New Japan Dash show. So, our New Year's Dash show, Jesus. Uh, but that should be very, very awesome. Obviously, Hiromu and Naito will probably slap. And, uh, but we'll see, though. Maybe that uh, the tension there might just cost them the match there against uh, Bullet Club. Or they could have a, a bit of a pissing contest to see which one is... Uh, looking uh, the best before their title match. We'll see. The United Empire Suzuki Gun 8-man tag match is Zack, Kitsuki Kinemura with Jonathan Gresham and Daniel Makabe against Suzuki Gun of Suzuki, David Boy Smith Jr., Taichi, and El Desperado. Interesting. Then uh, Chaos and uh, Tenkoji and Hayato Tamura in a 6-man. It's Ishii, Yano, and Demoya Harada for the 6-man portion of Chaos. And then obviously Tenkoji with Hayato Tamura. And then the opener, Great Bash Shield versus Josh Alexander, Tom Lawler. Kind of funny, we've never done this as far as a tag match goes, 2v2. At least in a uh, final show setting, maybe in a tour setting. Kind of looked it up and I was skimming through it. I, I wasn't really paying attention, but I didn't see any tag matches. I could be wrong, obviously, there. But yeah, we'll have to figure out what's going to go in that spot. Uh, that's the last prelim match before the title matches. I would love to get Dark Order on this card. Problem is, where do you put them? You know, is kind of the the big to do there. But I'm sure we'll figure something out. I'm sure, hopefully, uh, maybe even on this show. Who knows? As we'll just kind of see what we got as far as uh, that goes. What we can do for a main event. You know, Naito, Hiromu. And, uh, actually, we'll do Sonata, Shingo, and we'll do, uh, you know, have a Bushi with the Bucks. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty awesome main event, if I do say so myself. Uh, we did this at New Year's Dash, but so maybe not, though. Maybe a little too soon. Might just be a little too soon there. Yeah, hey, but let's go with something else instead. Let's keep with, um... 
Let's do uh, Hiromu, Sonata, and Naito, and we'll do um, Brody, Evil. Actually, um, let's do Bushi, Brody, Evil, Black Taurus. There we go. There's a <laughs> there's a match. That was at Destruction. We did this. It was an eight man. And Lij won. As uh. We're gonna have uh, Black. Uh, nah, we'll have Bushi beat Black Taurus. Actually, feel bad that we got to do that, but Black Taurus is is awesome, and I love him. But Bushi needs a win. <laughs> he uh, he needs it really bad. Cause I want to say his momentum. Ah, it's not gonna show here. I'll have to go here. I think it's cold. Yep, it's cool. Then we'll take it. That's a probably pretty good main event. Don't think we, uh, that's a good building block to what could be, you know, as far as a potential main event. I, I want to get the Young Lions on this, you know, on the tour, if we can. Um, yeah, we'll have Kento and Suji team up. Kind of odd, because they're, so obviously one was a Young Lion we poached and, and made, well, uh, Yota Suji, obviously, a uh, young lion since the start and was like an, a is an actual part of the New Japan roster and everything. Yeah, we need to job out Puma King, too. Or no? No, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That is right. We do need to do that. I was thinking he... He can have, uh... Oh, we can have, uh, Liana, Fujinami, and, uh, Master Wado. Sure. <laughs> this is not great at all, but... Which, uh, getting the kids out there, you know. And, uh, I love you, Tosuji. Take the ball, because probably going to be the worst guy in that match. That match is not going to be great. Not great at all. We'll keep that at 10. So, yeah, so, uh, for some reason, some on, um, no, that's strong. That's right. So New Japan strong. You don't have to make a technical master class or show, uh, steal the show matches anymore. That's what it is. Uh, so another tag match. Mm, we need to get rid of dangerous techers <laughs> while, we're, while we're at it. Yeah, let's get um, let's get the former champs and uh, Francesco and Eagles against uh, Velocities. Yeah, we did this back in May of last year. It did pretty well, uh, for what it's worth. So we're gonna have Francesco win. Just trying to think of guys that were not on that USA show to book. Really, only the guy is, um, uh, Brody and Evil. Everybody else, you know, wasn't. So that, that kind of makes sense from that perspective. So we need an opener. And uh, even though it's not going to make any goddamn sense, that's not the opener. Or that it is the opener, because obviously we had that Fujinami, Wado, Young Lion tag match. But we need something. So let's just do Rocky with Sho and Yo. Against, uh... I we could do maybe the United Empire 6... No, we could, let's, um... Can't really do Mex of Blood. No, no, I guess we can. We can do Flamita, Horus, and uh, Ryu Lee. Yeah. There we go. We'll actually have this steal the show. <laughs> yeah, that's. And it's definitely been upgraded. As we uh, Ryu Lee beat Rocky. Oh. Figured Rock was going to be a little upset by that one now. Yeah, because Pop is... I'm assuming Ryu Lee's Pop is not. Oh, it is that. Come on, Rock. Why well, you got to be an asshole? I'll keep you strong. How about that? There we go. So, yeah, that will, that'll be set for Steal the Show. A little chaos, chaos, back-to-back -back action. We really need a, an opener, though. Uh, maybe... 
Maybe we'll do a singles. Uh, let's, I don't know why we'll, we'll exclude people. I mean, I think we gotta have Okan and some, and maybe Okan and Davy Boy, and just have Davy Boy beat him. I think that's probably our best bet there. I don't know why. I was like, yeah, they definitely have not had a match against each other. We'll see. I mean, it's definitely playing to Okan's strengths, but I'm not sure how well he's in, he is in the mod. Especially in that type of setting. So what we have, uh, we just need one more match. So we need something in between the main. Uh, we'll, uh, think of a good tag match that we can do. I love, you know, Kent and Jay White really are a pretty fun team, even though they're not an official team, but I mean, they're really over, and they do pretty well, so maybe them against, uh, we need to have Puma King lose too, <laughs> so that doesn't really help us out. Um, oh yeah, Karisti cool. Yeah, we still have Carbonaro for some reason. Shelly. Yeah, but I don't want to use anyone, like I said, that, uh, actually, we should probably do, uh, Goto, and, uh, maybe someone from Chaos. That's probably gonna be Yoshihashi. It, it makes no sense, because, like, especially, like, obviously Goto hasn't Heavyweight title match coming up. But he's going to get the win now. He's going to beat Jay White. Which is uh, just funny to think about. The fucking G1 winner. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Obviously, we've never done this before. Yep. Yeah, had a feeling that was going to happen. Saw that one coming. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh... Yeah, just David Boy and Okan. I figure that's so. Then Taurus as well. Yeah, all right. Well, let's run it. I mean, yeah. Okan definitely would have probably you know use a, a ratings bump, but I don't want to cheat though at the same time. Because like you know his ratings, it's weird when it comes to like young lions because obviously. You would assume you have to really like predict, like really, really big. Which I think he, they did a pretty good job. He's just not really over, so that's not really gonna help his in-ring performance out at all. And plus, the way young lions work in this game, uh, you know, like he only had like ten matches. <laughs> when obviously he had probably a lot more than ten matches during his stint. Uh, so that just that kind of sucked too. So it's just kind of it's a really shitty system. There's a lot of things flawed with DW, and that's uh, that's one of many. It's David Boy Smith Jr. getting the one to say to suplex though. The 37 somehow was a little bit better. Well, look at the. Uh, how about that? We just kind of create a team out of nowhere sometimes. As Liani, Fujinami, and Master Wado have excellent chemistry. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We'll have to think of a team name and stuff. That's pretty fun though. So yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's what we get for kind of, uh, sometimes you just gotta throw shit at the wall sometimes and hope it sticks. Yeah, you're just the worst guy in the match, by far. Let's try out Master Wado and Leon and Fujinami. There's uh, Fujinami with the double under suplex in 954. Or 944, rather. <laughs> Ooh, a 30. I mean, this is not a great show at all, but shout out to Velocity, so they did really well. That doesn't, that doesn't sound good. An intervertible sprain from uh, Jude London there as he gets hurt. So Kira Francesco wins with the Kira Salt in 13-13. Yeah, just not enough pop there to make this match hit the limit. The injury, too. Thank God we finally get this show on the road here. As uh, Ray Horse and Flamita and uh, Ryu Lee. Mexiblood, I guess something's up because they should be in Mexiblood. Not sure what what's going on there. As uh, they defeat Chaos. 
it's Rocky showing yo. With Ryu Lee pinning Rocky Romero. Yep, Ryu Lee's best guy in the match. Definitely had the right decision there to get the win. Hell yeah. Well, at least Mexiblood's coming around, too. Flamita was off his game. He's still, you know, was just one point below Ray Horace. 60 for the co-main. Kota with a 57. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Finally, Jay White's starting to do well, and here I am having him lose. <laughs> Go figure. Here, the whole time, that whole G1 was trying to get him out of that kind of range he was in. And now, in the year 2021, to start off the new beginning tour, he fucking loses in a tag match. Go figure. A 70 main event, though, thank Christ. <laughs> this tour would have been terrible. It would have been a terrible start. I look at Brody. I perform in Naito. How about that? As uh, Bushi taps out Black Taurus the Ashi Road. Yeah, so Romo uh, with a 66, Evil with a 62, 55 for Bushi. I mean, that's a tough flight, you know. They, they leave, you know, Las Vegas. They go to Japan in like two days and wrestle. That's, that's a tough, uh, I mean, talk about some jet lag, too. That is tough, but they did it. That'd be crazy if that was a factor into a into a TW. Like that's gonna be some next level shit, and make uh, the difficulty up for sure. Yeah, sixty five. Yeah, we're not gonna gain any pop for this tour. I'm, I'm assuming we won't, but uh, not for a while. But uh, yeah, I mean, at least we got something out of it with Master Wado and Leon, uh, Leon Fujinami. Uh, they're having some excellent chemistry. We'll have to. Throw them on some undercards throughout this tour. On the day two we go. Alright, we got a backstage incident. And we had some things happening on the uh, New Japan Strong Day. Because Simon Grimm and Danash. It's brought for wrestlers court accused of annoying everyone. Else, the, yeah, that sounds like Simon Grimm. <laughs> that would definitely be something he would be known to do. As uh, the judge, Roshi Tanahashi, found him guilty and sets him to rain silent for the rest of the night. Then buy drinks right after the show. Yeah, that's pretty fair. So, uh, we'll go through as far as... I don't think we'll have this show be run in Cork. And probably... Wow, October. Yeah, we could probably run there. Oof. Uh, do we... Do we run the prefecture or do we just run the... Mars Gym? I think we're just going with the gym. I'm just... I'm, I'm kind of curious where we're at finance-wise. Oof. 600,000 in hold. Not good. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll be able to get that back with the rest of the New Beginning stuff. Uh, but yeah, for the uh, New Japan Strong show, looked a little bit like this. So, King Mo and Myron Reed, they were in Justice in MLW. But now, figured uh, we could do something that uh, you know, Ring of Honor did in real life, but obviously we started before they even did it, uh, the foundation. We have King Mo, Myron Reed, Darius Lockhart so far. It's probably going to maybe add a couple of people, uh, but here and there, maybe Fred Rosser in Crime Time, or and uh, Jason Paul maybe. It's just an idea, but probably not though at the same time. Who knows? I mean, you just that's so far. That's the just so far. It's just a, a trio, and just to kind of add a little bit more, more teams to uh, Strong, and kind of add more pieces to it. Uh, but yeah, Fale with uh, Tongalo and Tama Tonga beat Wasteland. Shator Shino beat Ikaleo. That was just kind of like, let's see it, what Shator Shino could do with like someone like Ikaleo. And not bad. Liberty United beat Dark Order in an eight man. Uh, that just again, really putting over Liberty United, trying to at least say beat Dark Order there in an eight man. As for uh, the tour date here, last one before the actual show. Really, I think the big thing that I want to do is, uh, I think an eight man, and I'm um, thinking Chaos LIJ maybe. Because, you know, we could do Naito with Hiromu and Sonata, Shingo, then the Chaos team do Okada, Ishii kind of funny. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll have Goto be it first. Ishii. Okada. Because you have a lot of different pieces there. You have Goto, who's still hyping up for his title match with Ibushi. Then you also have... Maybe you can make it a ten... Or a, uh... 
Maybe we can have a Bushi team with Goto just to kind of add... I mean, let's do... I mean, fuck it. Why not, right? We've had the Golden Raymakers. They, they teamed before in some capacity. It is a tour show, so it's not a big deal. Maybe have it be a tag. Maybe do a Bushi with uh, Goto. Yeah, let's just do that instead, actually. Kind of a uh, Strange Bedfellows tag match, if you will. It's kind of fun. That's, sometimes I just do shit like that where it, it will uh, it doesn't make sense, but in the context of kind of uh, the context of New Japan doing it, like <laughs> Gato's not doing this on a tour, but just for me personally, I think it adds a little bit of uniqueness to a card and a tour, that it, you know at least a little bit of unpredictability. Even though Naito and Aroma are an official team, but they are you know future opponents. Same thing with. Uh, with Goto and uh, Kotobushi, though we could do just a thought we could do Cobb and Miro not a bad we could do uh, Ibushi with Cobb Miro and Goto let's do that instead to really make it cause, uh, so that way it, we can kind of do both so you have a Miro and then Ibushi with Cobb Pretty fun match. Pretty fun. I went with uh, Champion Challenger, Champion Challenger 2, just to kind of make it a little unique. Ooh, um, and typical. <laughs> Nobody should lose fashion. Uh, double count out. Alright, well, double DQ. Miro and, and Cobb kind of come to blows with some chairs. It gets a little hectic in there. Maybe double count it. Instead. Kind of just turns into a, a pure six brawl. You know, just bodies all over the place. Uh, yeah, so that's probably going to be the main. Though, you know, we could still do... As far as... Um, you know, haven't really figured out what I want. Exactly from that, you know, that extra match that we need to book. Because so we could do something with uh, Okada. We could do Okada and Hashi against, you know, someone. Just, uh, yeah, you know, as far as... Or we could do... We could do Brody, Taurus, Okada, Rocky. Just an idea. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So we'll make that... Uh, we'll do a six-man here. Because I, I, I like that a lot. So I will add Brody Lee. Just so I can remember it. <laughs> Brody Lee and Mark Taurus. Versus. Suchika Okada. And. Rocky Roman. Perfect. Yeah, I think that's a fun heavyweight junior tag match. You know, that's, that's pretty great. So we'll have Brody with Evil and with Taurus. Then they'll take on Okada, Hashi, and Rocky. And we'll have Evil beat Yoshihashi here just to get Evil some love because he could use some wins. Not a bad cone main. Obviously, Okada and Brody are really going to do the heavy lifting and Rocky somewhat, but pretty, pretty solid though. Uh, so, we've pretty much got our main and co-main settled. Let's get Fujinami and Wado on the card. See who they could face. So, you know, we could do Kitamura. Kitamura and Okan. But I kind of want to do Kitamura and Okan against Davy Boy and maybe Suzuki. Just an idea. Uh, yeah, because I mean, we could do Rosser with Jason Paul. I think JTG has got a little, a little less pop in, uh, in Japan. 
So Fujinam is going to beat Jason Ball. That is funny. That, uh, we've just, uh, we got something here. We'll figure out a name. We're still kind of mulling that over. Uh, let's get, uh, let's get Hayata tomorrow on the card. Uh, or, or at least SP can tell. I guess we could have both. Yeah, let's do that. We haven't done a Young Lion versus Young Lion match in a while. Kento and Demora. <laughs> Man, his stats are awesome. He's really... I mean, I can't wait. I experience. Uh, he's got something big happening on the uh, Osaka show. It's, uh, I'm excited to see how it you know plays out. It's a uh, really a big-time step for him. A uh, time limit draw will be the finish of this one. This will open up the show. <laughs> We're going to have two draws. Great. But, uh, that's what happens when you run a venue that only holds 450 people. Uh, um, I've been meaning to kind of go through and add some more venues to, to this. A time limit. There we go. Oh, uh, technical master class, that's right. Hopefully it works. Because <laughs> it might not. We might have to make it 16. Just to make sure it, it works. Because it might go under. But yeah. We'll just say the timekeeper got it wrong. <laughs> we, we missed the clock. We messed it up. Yeah, start, he started it late. That way we don't... Uh, Get fucked. Thank goodness. Six man. Yeah, I mean, Santa de Aura and Samurai del Sol. I mean, I think. No, we, we can't do that. I was thinking Never 06 man tag title match, but we kind of can't. <laughs> we, we gotta wait a little bit. Because Ishii's still. Or uh, Goto, rather, is booked on this card. But we could kind of do. Um. Somebody else trying to think who would be someone we could use. Let's um, cause I want to do uh, Samurai or uh, I want to do Karistico and Zach next with a strong title, as well as I think Gresham and Makabe could be a, a fun junior tag team, just cause they're so different. You know, they're technical wizards. You know, in there, just would kind of throw it for a loop, even though. Obviously, the the future, the next tour, they, literally the next show we're running, we're, it's uh, United Empire. Maybe not, but we'll kind of save that for next time. As uh, we'll, uh, since we already just got this out, we'll do Suzuki with Despi and uh, Kanemaru. Which, uh, we did the eight man, but we haven't done this. We haven't done the six man. So this is supposed to seal the show. Uh, we'll have Zach win. All right, you know, let's uh, let's give Suzuki Kun a win here. Let's have Kanemaru beat Makabe. I hate to say it's our Daniel Makabe. You're gonna have to lose. I, I could have swore we had Suzuki Kun win the first. We did. I was about to. Oof. Let that check that. So uh, we'll have Gresham. Yeah, we'll, we'll have Gresham get a win. He'll beat, uh... Yeah, he could beat Despy. Oh, had a slow build. <laughs> that could have been bad. That could have been real bad. How are we doing? So we need one more match, which... I mean, we might as well just do the tag that we were thinking... Not sure what it will be now. Oh, it could be Tai Chi. That's, yeah, Tai Chi and Davy Boy against uh, the uh, United, uh, United Rage. Hell yeah. I mean, do we have Kinemora get a win here? <laughs> or uh, do we have Tai Chi get a win? So, well, I guess we had them winning the, the one match with they can uh, beat them in the tag here. We'll have Tai, I mean, poor. Great Ocon. 
I hate that we're doing this because he—I mean—he's coming off the excursion and he should be getting some wins. That's all right. We'll have that go underneath. But I like that the, the our undercard has really changed significantly. Obviously, with the addition of the United uh, Empire, but we're, we're changing it up a lot from what we have uh, usually have done in the past, and I, I like it. Yeah, uh, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll run the show here. 31. Oh, wow, Kento actually did better in a technical master class. Didn't see that one coming. But yeah, it's 15, but the uh, timekeeper fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I don't go with extra. Oh, that's right. Hey, out tomorrow's office game. I didn't see that. That's why he got outperformed. I mean, could have been worse. Young Lion opener. What can you expect? 37. As uh, crime time players lose to Fujinami and Master Wado. And we could do something with Dragon. I, you know, we got, uh... Yeah, I mean, we could do something now with their names. Uh, I'm sure we could figure something out. Uh, but, uh, the double under suplex for Fujinami in 12.04. Fujinami best guy in the match. Uh, Master Wado getting just dragged. Thanks to this one. Man, that's, uh... But I'm happy Jason Paul and Fred Ross are actually doing pretty well in Japan now. Took about a year. <laughs> well, we got it. There we go. Okan and Katsuya Kinemura. They have their excellent chemistry, but obviously they're not over at all. And they kind of, they're, they're the shits. But we'll, we'll make it work eventually. Stay your boy and Tai Chi get the win as Tai Chi tabs out. Great Okan. I just feel like this is the best for both worlds because they need experience. The Suzuki Goon need wins. It kind of just works for everybody. We'll see how the six man does. 63, thanks to Zach. And company Makabe is the second best guy in the match. Outperformed Suzuki again. Gresham with a 50 as he pins. Or he taps that rather. Headless Barato with the octopus stretch. Yeah, could have won with Makabe too, either way. Daniel Makabe's almost in the 60s. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. 68 for Dark Order and Chaos and this six man. As evil pins Yoshiashi with everything is evil. So Kata with 73, Brody with 72, Evil with 64, Taurus 53, Rocky with 49, and, 40, uh, and 37. Yoshihashi there. Oof. Oh, Abushi and Jeff Cobb don't have any chemistry. That's sometimes that happens. <laughs> sometimes when you just throw shit at the wall, it doesn't actually work. Miro is best guy in the match because of it. We'll see how we did. Okay, thank God we didn't lose any pop. Wrong thing went on last, but who would have guessed that Cobb and uh, Ibushi would have bad chemistry? But yeah, this I mean, it's the tale of like our undercard is shit, but our at least the top half of the card is getting carried by people. Even Makabe though doesn't have any pop, and he's <laughs> he's doing really really well. That's uh, only half the story. It's on to the new beginning in Sapporo show. I am, uh, I'm pretty excited for it. I, you know, we got a lot of things cooking. We got a lot of things going on and having each, so basically each show, each big event that we're doing this tour has three title matches on it. We saw the first three in the U.S. show, uh, and then we're going to have this three, and then, of course, the Osaka three. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I think as far as keeping that formula, I think that's a pretty cool idea, and I think it's, uh, a great way to kind of keep all the champions protected, but also not overdone it, because obviously we, we're kind of at the point where a lot of the shows has five title matches on it, so at least it, it kind of separates it to where it spreads that out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, Goto. Yeah, fuck, fuck yeah. Is Shibata on it too? Oh, no. Yeah. yeah I mean, you're, you're probably right, Shibata. No, you are right. There's no probably about it. Uh, I do have to add everything to a pre-booking thing, uh, but then... We'll uh, catch you back for the New Beginning in Sapporo show. So, alrighty. Oh, they have it just in Sapporo already. Perfect. Uh, so, uh, Japan World, TV Asahi. Backstage, it's then Ishii passing on tips. Microphone work to Harada. Perfect. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's the thing about Sapporo. Is, uh, I guess we could have it be here. That's probably because it's an actual venue. Because even though uh, we just did the the Road 2 show here, so it makes sense. Yeah, 8,000, not the biggest venue, but... 
It should, it will do. It will do. So I uh, will uh, go with main event. Go to go to Bushi. Man, <laughs> you have no idea how badly it's just like man. Imagine he finally does it. He finally wins the title match, heavyweight title match. But now he he lost. He loses to Go to Bushi. Does a rookie Go to. So close though. Uh, in the tag title match, the co-main event, Sanan and Shingo do, in fact, beat the Young Bucks in 30 minutes flat. Very awesome there. And that starts their reign. Jeff Cobb and Miro is the uh, final title match. It's Miro getting the win. 16 minutes. We'll see how that one does. It's awesome Shibata's already for that. Because I, I can only imagine just, like, go out there and beat the shit out of each other. It's Black Taurus and... Uh, Brody Lee taking on Okada and Rocky Romero. This should be a really, really good match. Don't think it's going to do better than the title match, obviously, but it, it can be really, really awesome because Brody and Black Horse have the chemistry boost. Plus, Okada's awesome. Rocky's pretty well in himself. So the finish, Brody's going to beat Rocky, and Okada's going to get attacked by Shotoro Shina because obviously their title match is still happening at New Beginning in Osaka, so that's just building up to that. Uh, but pretty fun, though. Thought about having... I guess really what we probably should have done is do a Shino and Joe against Okada and like Yoshihashi maybe. Guess we could still do it. Because that would kind of make more sense. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Because that, that it just makes you know more sense. Uh, Shino and Joe... It's Okada and Yoshihashi, because he, he's really kind of the only one, because we're doing Ishii, Yano, and Harada. So, yeah, that... Task Force Death and Chaos. There we go. There, it, Yeah, I think that, that just makes a little bit more sense. Even though that match is better that we just had, because, uh, you know, Yoshihashi's involved in this match, but uh, we'll have a Shino beat Yoshihashi as well. Everything should be good, though. We'll just have to kind of go around it. So, uh, the LIJ Bullet Club six-man finish. Looks like this. Hiromu has the time bomb ready, staring deep into the eyes of Naito as he makes the cover. as kind of saying, this is your fate. So I'm coming for you. You know, this is no holding back. Just because you're the leader. I'm getting that Intercontinental title. It's kind of the vibe there. and The thread is on. Naito-san and that six-man. That's an awesome six-man, though. Kind of crazy we've never done that before. As, uh, then the United Empire Suzuki Gun eight-man, which we're going to have that be set to steal the show. It's Makabe's going to get the win. He's going to beat Despi. Shout out Daniel Makabe there. As, uh, then the Chaos with Kojima, with uh, Tenkoji and Hayata Demora. Harada's going to beat Tamora. Just want to see how he does. You know, We should have probably booked him in the Road 2 shows. But that's okay. Uh, he should still do pretty well there. And then the opener, Great Bash Heel against uh, Team Filthy. As uh, Tom Lawler and Josh Alexander. As Josh is going to beat Hama. So they have done a, a tag match before. It was in August. It was uh, day four of the uh, Road to King of Wrestling. That was when, uh, obviously, the tournament was going on. Interesting, though. I, I think that uh, and Great Bash Heel won that match. I, that was a 49. I don't know if that was the opener or not. We'll see. That's the card, and uh, we'll just kind of make sure. I'm assuming it's good to go. Yeah, just a little slightly overused in the Tamora Harada stuff. Maybe we bump it down. Cause, well, I think it's at 16, though. Nah, we'll just... We'll leave it. It's fine. So the uh, pre-show. Tag match. Actually, six, man. Let's, uh, let's do Dark Order of uh, Reynolds and Silver with Taurus against uh, Sh uh, Rapungi 3K, Sho, Yo, and Rocky. So we've done this before. No, we haven't either. Interesting. Uh, 12 minutes. We'll have, uh, I will have Sho beat Reynolds. 
feel bad. Reynolds is kind of the whipping boy in a lot of this scenario. And uh, probably another six man. Um, I'm trying to think. Maybe Juice with Kaji and Hammerstone. Have to finally get him. Finally get him on the card, and then uh, we'll see who we have that we can use. Cause so we got Gavin. Yeah, we do McGavin with uh, Katsuya, Kitamura, and Great Okan. That is certainly a match. I mean, there's a lot of good people that are on this card. Tanashi comes to mind. He hasn't been booked really at all. Which is not a great sign for me as a booker. You, yeah, I gotta put him on the fucking card somehow. He's just such in a weird spot because he he's not affiliated with like he's affiliated with like Taguchi and and uh, Mabushi one of them. Now Abushi's now in Golden Elite. Now that that's a you know been revived in New Japan, so it's kind of just him and Taguchi that I can team with kind of realistically on the tour shows. But, uh, and, you know, Pac's not on it either. So I guess we could have made that a six-man. Had Pac involved, but... That's all right. I mean, a six-man's fine. So that, especially if you're in the pre-show setting, we'll give it ten, and we're gonna have Juice beat Gavin McGavin. I don't know. Maybe not Gavin McGavin. Maybe Katsuya. Sorry, Kitamura. Sorry about that. That's the show. Um, uh, as far as how everything kind of looks, I'm, uh, I'm pretty cool with it. Because a part of me wants to make that a six-man, though. But we already have one six-man below it. That back-to-back six-man's like that. I don't know. Because we've had, we'd have three on the card. We'd also just, we already have three tag matches, too. I think we're fine. I think it's a pretty good card. I, uh, I like the main... Like the tag, that tag match should be interesting. Seeing how Yoshiashi gets carried, that six man should be pretty awesome. But the rest of it, I'm a little, you know, United Empire Suzuki Goon could be okay. Nervous to see how Harada does. Yeah, it was, you know, exciting times though with uh, booking new people. Let's uh, run the show here. Being in Sapporo, 58, not bad. Yeah, Juice 67. Gavin McGavin, second best guy in the match. Pretty awesome. And uh, Kaiju at the mouth, 51. So Alexander Armstrong, not bad, 46. Yeah, just so con, man. Uh, I really just want to change the stats. Because, like, a man ain't that bad. <laughs> he, he ain't bad. You know, he's, he's not that bad. We'll see if what happens, though. I'll give it to the end of the year, see if he gets better. So, uh, the other pre show match. Dark Order vs. Chaos, six-man junior tag match. Show pins Reynolds with the shock arrow. Rocky, best guy in the match, followed by John Silver. Then Black Taurus and Yo, Show, and Reynolds, horse guy. So, hey, Paul John Silver with 56, pretty awesome. 52 for the opener. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Josh Alexander, best guy in the match. On the worst guy in the match. Phil the time, being off the game, kind of hurts a little bit, but <laughs> Pearl of a Brunge from Josh Alexander at 1638. Pretty, I mean, Josh Alexander's done pretty well for himself. And the undercards, uh, I'd like to see him kind of climb up the card a little bit as uh, Chaos beats Tenkoji with Hayato Tamora. Harada doesn't have his finisher set. Figure that might that, that might happen. Ooh, Harada with 37. Not great. Hayato Tamora with a 52. He was the third best guy in the match. <laughs> he did better than Kojima. That's pretty great. Pretty great. Add yeah, more. It's it's almost time. Fifty six. Oh, as I forgot, Katsuya Kanemura. He had to work. Uh, he, we put him double duty for his match. Or no, we we about did. Good thing we didn't. I know. No, we definitely did. I'm an idiot. Yeah, we did. Uh, that's all right. As uh, <laughs> Makabe pins uh, Despi. He doesn't have his finisher set either. A lot of people got to go in and check. So yeah, chronic shoulder pain. Not the worst thing. In the world, at least. Zach with an 81. He's so... He's so... He's too good. He's too good. So that kind of... Will, uh... 
as far as United Empire goes against Suzuki Goon, kind of the big play, the big payoff was really Suzuki Zack and the for the strong title. But now that this eight man, I I think you know we'll probably put it into it. And kind of, you know, just have United Empire take on, like, Karistico and Samurai del Sol and Senta de Aura and kind of have Makabe and Gresham challenge for the tag belts, junior tag belts, in the, on a future show type of thing. Just kind of building. That'll, that'll probably be the next thing we do. Just kind of thinking ahead, but, yeah, Zach, it's crazy. Makabe was almost got a 70. That's still... So Gresham's getting better, too. Yeah, I mean, Gresham and Makabe... Watch out. <laughs> you know, watch out for sure. Chronic shoulder pain for Katsuki Nomura. Oh, Suzuki caused it. Interesting. Wouldn't have saw that coming. Now, 75. Yeah, I figured this would be pretty fucking awesome. And it certainly was. Kento was the best guy in the match. That's really cool to see. As Romu beats Kento with a time bomb number two, too, as uh, in 2120, uh, 2133. Yeah. Way to go, Kento. Jay White, uh, you know, 66, 64 for Ishimori, 64, or 62 rather for Bushi. Not bad at all, not a bad six man at all. And 81, yeah, no, it was better. How about that? It's Okada with Yoshiashi against Shatoru Shino and Joe Doring. Obviously, I think the potential, you know, with Rocky gets involved as well, this match, you know, is even better, but, you know, Okada and Shino, that match is going to be crazy as uh, Shino pins Yoshiashi with a T-bone. In 22.59, Hashi was the weakest link. No shit. <laughs> I'm surprised I got an 81. 69, yeah, for that never boy title match, but Mir with a bullplex. That's a second offense of his uh, title reign, which he's done pretty well for himself. He's really, you know, I mean, beating Zack and then having Tanahashi and then Jeff Cobb, it's kind of went down a little bit as far as contenders, but uh, still some pretty good stuff uh, nonetheless. For Miro. An 81 for the tag title match. It, it, you know, actually, that uh, match did better. As Sonata and Shingo do beat Nick Jackson, Matt Jackson, thanks to the injury. I think that, you know, definitely hurt it, obviously. But Shingo pinning Matt with the pumping bomber. And we got new IWGP tag team champions in Los Ingobernables de Japón. And Sonata and Shingo, they start their reign. That's pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, Shingo, Sonata, what more can you say? An 80 main event. Wow. As Ibushi was off his game. Damn it. As, uh, that's the number one defense left for Kota Ibushi. It's the Phoenix Plex. Jesus Christ. And 33-39. What a win for Ibushi. Fun stuff there. As, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, increased our pop in all the regions somehow. Would have gained it a lot more, like in America and Canada and uh, just everywhere. You know, besides Japan. We really need to get New Japan World really rock and roll and at least think about adding maybe a different uh, service as well kind of elsewhere to help us out maybe a little bit that might be a good idea uh, but yeah I mean as far as who to put over yeah I'm gonna go with a Shino for one Shingo for the second and uh, yeah you know a Bushi just for hey wait out perform the you know your challenger there just to kind of you know uh, change it up a little bit as well. So yeah, that is that card in the books. New beginning in Sapporo. You know, it's it's an interesting kind of tour because we're not going to run a show in the Tokyo Dome this card. Or in this tour, rather. Which sucks, but kind of running elsewhere too at the same time to at least help out those venues out. Uh, but, uh, you know, we probably will lose money this month, which sucks, but... I think we'll be able to get it back in March. We'll see, though. Uh, we still have the anniversary show, too, which I kind of almost forgot about. Uh, John, I'm, I don't know if we'll have that. I think we'll have that show, or that, yeah, that we'll have that be tacked on. That'll kind of be the prelude before the uh, the tournament. I think that'll probably be a good way to start off that episode. And so, the meet a pay raise, sure. So, the um, new beginning... And Osaka show. As, uh, we'll, uh, I have five matches that I have. We'll, uh, drag them over here. <laughs> and, uh, so, it looks a little bit like this, the card. 
So we already, you know, the title match, the Intercontinental title match, Hiromu Takahashi and Tetsuya Naito, the IWGP US title match of Shito Oshino and Katsuchika Okada, which that should be a banger. And obviously this Junior Heavyweight title match should also be a banger of Alex Shelley and Pac. Uh, so going the lead of Ibushi with the Bucks are going to take on G.O.D. and Fale. Uh, so afterwards, G.O.D. are going to challenge the Golden Elite to a rematch. This time, loser leaves New Japan is the stipulation. That will be set for Sakura Genesis. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, so we'll have that match on that card. So that's look, thinking way ahead, but, you know, because we have the actual, uh, we have, you know, the, the anniversary show coming up, and then we'll have the New Japan Cup going on, so we can't really do it during that time as well, so I just feel like that's the best thing going. And now, we'll have the Hayato Tamora 7-match trial series. Number one match, Hayato Tamora versus Tomakiyama. So, if you are someone that is not too familiar with Japanese pro wrestling kind of etiquette, basically the trial series is uh, the kind of last thing that happens before someone goes on an excursion or in some cases they don't even go on an excursion they stay in Japan kind of rarely does that happen though but we might do that with Hey Out Tomorrow we might actually keep him in Japan just because he's so fucking awesome you know but we'll see I mean hell even uh, I just realized that this is going to be driving me crazy we didn't have that the whole time uh, but you know even Kazuchika Okada went on an ex you know, excursion just kind of is par for the course but yeah, that's our kind of five matches we have. I'll probably add some more, obviously, kind of within the next couple of uh, shows, hopefully. And so then we'll uh, keep it going here. Obviously, we'll have to stop the recording, but we just have, uh, I think it's just one show. No, it's two. So yeah, it's two each. Yeah, we got uh, now days three and four. And then we'll have the uh, final show, the New Beginning Osaka, for this episode. As I, I forgot to uh, show this uh, earlier... Uh, just to, in case you wanted to really see how fucked up this save is, this happened uh, a couple of weeks ago. So, Goldberg is still Universal Champion. He's been, you know, as far as almost a year reign is going on. But the WWE Champion, yep. Happened. Yeah, it was two weeks ago. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty bad. Uh, Sami Zayn's Intercontinental Champions, at least that kind of makes sense. <laughs> oh my god, I did not see this. The Singh brothers are the fucking... Holy shit, and they beat Gallows and Anderson for the belts. I mean... I, oh wow, that match was a 72. I clash your champions in and out the year. Wow. That's just funny. It's uh, Biggie and Kofi. Uh, that just happened, yeah. I just I'm about to say that just happened. They just beat Elias. Devon was the U.S. champ. What in the world? <laughs> That's so what? Uh, well, he won in a he defended it a four way. Boy, imagine SummerSlam. You're just like, hey, I can't wait for this Devon Dudley Elias match. Just watching Raw one day and just like, oh, they're doing Devon and Mustafa Ali. <laughs> God. Unreal. Unreal. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, CML is three million in the hole. At least they've made money this month for the first time ever. So that's fun. I tried to buy them out, but they didn't, didn't do it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I just figured kind of go through that real quick and show everyone. Oh, so the uh, rest of the matches I, I put together look like this. Cow Pit Bulls, Rock of America, and Stark Order, Burry Lee, Evil, and Black Taurus. Obviously, you know, Evil and Brody, they actually beat Captain Bulls during the Tag League, so it's just kind of... I thought about doing just a regular 2v2 match in that, but... Changed my mind. Figured add a six-man to it and uh, add Rocky and Black Taurus to it. Uh, but yeah, then, so we have that. Then we're going to have a uh, Task Force Death of Joe Doring and Ray Phoenix against Tomato... Fi uh, against Tomato Juice, a little Liberty United Task Force Death match. And a uh, 2v2v2 2v2 Junior Tag match. And I actually want this to be an elimination match, so I'm glad... I won't have to worry about messing that up as the Dragon Masters. That took way too long to be like, it fucking makes sense. Like, it's right there. It took way too long to figure that out. Uh, but Francesco and Robbie Eagles of uh, Chaos and then Makabe and Jonathan Gresham of United Empire should be a pretty fun junior tag match there. And that's uh, got some title implications to that as well. Winners of that 
take on Santa de Aura and uh, Samurai del Sol, who are kind of just not really shown a lot after winning the tag team titles, which is a little concerning, but we'll get something figured out. You know, we'll, we'll get it figured out, I'm sure. No, I'm just kind of curious. I think... Okay, no, we, we do have eight. I was thinking we had an extra one, but no, we're good. We have our eight. There's also another kind of funny thing. We can have uh, USA Network broadcast our shows, which is kind of funny. Not sure when we'll ever do that. If we Obviously, we probably will never do that, but just kind of wild that we can't even do that in the first place. Yeah, we'll run here. I haven't ran here in a while. Nah, it's just going to be 450 people, but fuck it. I think... We could, I, actually, I mean, we could run the convention center, you know, might as well. Uh, so, for the, uh, for the show, and, and kind of what we want to do, I think, uh, a six-man junior tag, or somewhat of a junior tag, we're gonna have Taguchi with Wado and, uh, Leona Fujinami, and so they're gonna take on the team. Of, I think, I think we're gonna do Gresham, Mock Bay, and Gavin McGavin. I think we'll have this be the opener. And uh, we're gonna have Gavin McGavin beat Master Watto. <laughs> uh, that's, that's pretty great. Pretty great. As far as uh, what's next on the car, you know, uh, y we kind of can't build anything with like Hiromu and Naito. We can kind of do we can do Okada and Shelley against Sh Shino and Pac. We can do that. <laughs> Have uh, oh. By the champs team up. And a Shino. With. Big. I thought about maybe doing an 8 man though. Yeah, we could. Let's, um. Let's do an 8 man. Let's do, uh, the Kayak Pit Bulls. Put them down here. Okada. With Shelly. Not a member of Chaos, but teaming up for this one-time deal. Maybe not. Um, maybe do Ishii. And then... Um, Rock. Yeah, let's do Ishii and Rock. And then... Uh, Shino. Doring. Uh, but we'll... Uh, have Pac. Make it a little bit more cohesive. Doring. Perfect. 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 And I just want to click. Oh, no. It's not it. There, there it is. Just want to drag this over real quick. <laughs> Don't mind me. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, even though uh, they're kind of taking on Chaos, uh, uh, Chaos is taking on Dark Order for some of that, and same thing with like Liberty United and, and Task Force Death, but I, you know, it, it, I think it works. For the most part. Um, we're going to give this a little bit more time though. 26 minutes sounds good to me. Man. A lot of great people in this match. But I think i got to give it to Tomorishi beating Joe Doring. Sorry for Joe. You know he's taken two losses like that. But. That's a pretty good main. Pretty good main event. Um. Do a six man maybe. Of a, uh, yeah, let's do tomato juice. Uh, I was going uh, was on the tag thing. That's what it was. Tomato juice with Hammerstone, and they'll take on. As far as who they can, we could who they can uh, face that can make sense. We should probably add Casanova to the foundation as well. Probably be a good idea. Uh, I guess we could do Team Filthy. Not a terrible idea. Tom with Alexander and uh, we'll have Garini just, just 
because we really don't really use them a whole lot. Sixteen. Yeah, because I think that will be the opener, so sixteen's fine. We're gonna have I kinda wanna have Hammerstone be greeny. Cause I think he's gonna outperform him. I really do. We'll see. It's quite the choice. Quite the choice indeed on that one. Right. So now we can kind of add whatever. So I'm thinking. I think a 10 Goji. I mean, we haven't really used them on a tour date. We've used them on the main shows, but not like an actual tour date. Let's have uh, Tenzan and Kojima against. So I guess we could use a United Rage. Oh, that's alright. So he's got the uh, chronic shoulder pain. Maybe give him the uh, show up. We really need that Poopa King lose, so we'll uh, let's do that. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think who. In a perfect world, we'd have Hayato Tamora beat him. <laughs> but we could not do that. I mean, we can, but uh, I'm just not going to do it. We could use Jarvis. We haven't really used him a whole lot. Fredericks, yeah. Not a bad idea. I haven't used Carl Fredericks a lot either. Because I've never done this before. Ten minutes. Carl Fredericks is an easy one. Nice. I'll kind of throw that there. Because I got a little faith in that. A little faith. Not a lot. Just a little. Singles match, though. I don't, I don't like that we're using a lot of singles matches, but... Fuck it. As, uh... Man, I mean, we gotta do Tanahashi against someone. <laughs> we really need to get something figured out with him. Because, uh, I mean, I guess he could team with, really, Taguchi and now the Dragon Masters. That's kind of like the Lion Mark team, but... So more people kind of more on his level. Let me just kind of see here. Who we could do, use if we can use anybody. Uh, we can. Yeah, just not a lot of. Not a lot of good choices that I'm seeing, really. We can, uh, Tanashi and y Yoshida against Kingston and, uh, and Shoto Yumino. There we go. Give, uh, Kingston a much needed win. As he's gonna beat Yoshida. There we go. Got something figured out. Even though Yotsuji is gonna get carried to a, or, uh, Ayo the Yoshida's rather gonna get carried to an easy win. Or it was going to, rather. Show to Yumino is. Jesus, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Finally, I was able to spit it out. A lot of people I used way too much on this card, <laughs> which is not a great sign. Yeah, I mean, this is. I mean, we're talking about the, uh, the undercard of undercards here. Not great. Uh, we need some, some firepower for sure. Don't really have a lot in the tag division. <laughs> Disciples of Darkness and uh, and God maybe. Just a thought. Cause we've done this. Uh, oh, that's the Gods of War. That ain't it. Different God. <laughs> Thrills death me. Maybe yeah, we did it in the tag league. I got a fifty-eight. Not terrible. I guess we could make it a six man. Throw Fale in there. Or Hikuleu. Ah, we'll 
let's do Vale. So we'll uh, Tankman Hobbs Evil. Have you done this before? Maybe not. Figured not. Uh, we'll have Tankman beat Vale. Vale's gonna love that. Oh, that is way too much time. That is that it's been given way too much. Twelve minutes, man. I mean, this is uh, I don't like this at all. Not one bit. This is gonna steal the show. Is why we're gonna just Tana <laughs> Tana Shizan, You're gonna have to go out there and kill it. I'm just curious. Yeah, I mean that that's so many people. Even Rockies use too much in the six man. Maybe bump it down a little bit. Twenty two minutes. Nope, still slightly overused. That's the the price we pay though. To build up a roster. I mean a fifty four opener. It could have been a lot worse. Makabe with a fifty nine, Taguchi with a fifty six, Fujinami with a fifty. There we go. Gresham with a forty nine. <laughs> Just Wada with a 31 and Gavin McGavin with a 40. Thank God for Taguchi, though. Somebody in that match had some pop to make that work. This, not so much. <laughs> Fredericks gets the win in 10 4. And the guy with no finish. 56 for Filthy Tom in the boys against uh, Liberty United. As Liberty United get the win as the Stonebreaker for Dominic Garini taking the fall there uh, for Alexander Hammerstone in 1602. Not bad. You know, Hammerstone with a 36. He did actually get outperformed. But it was probably because he was off his game. Uh, but Juice with a 61. Really uh, steering the ship on that one. 57 for Kingston and Yumino. Against Tanahashi and Yoshida. How about that? Tanahashi and Yoshida. <laughs> Having some uh, excellent chemistry. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, y Yoshida, thanks to the chemistry boost, almost outperformed Kingston. Needed that. 61 for Dark Order and Bullet Club. I can't believe it. So Evil was the best guy in the match, too. I can't believe that. As uh, he uh, doesn't even get involved in the finish. It's Tankman pinning a Fale with a Tankman driver. Yeah, I mean, Fale was the worst guy in the match. Takes the fall. That actually wasn't that bad. Thanks to Evil. Fale almost sunk it up, but everybody else did pretty well. 74 main event. How about that? As uh, we have uh, the 8 man as Task Force Death take the fall to Chaos with Shelly as uh, Ishii pins Joe Doran with a vertical drop brain buster. 75 for Okana. 73 for Shitora Shino. 71 for Pac and Ishii. 70 for Phoenix. 64 for Shelly. 61 for Joe Doran. Then fucking Rocky Romero <laughs> with a 49. Rounding up the group. Yeah, I mean, you can't really buy that, though. I mean, that's that's a pretty good show. I can't believe it. That's wild. I had uh, no faith at all. And, and, I mean, just the talented guys that we have in those matches. That's how you build up a, the, the workers, though. I mean, we're throwing the Dragon Masters out there at the Gucci. And we got the United Empire out there, and nobody in that match really has any pop. But the Gucci, and it somehow works. I can, I'm surprised that even did worse. I, I figured that would actually do pretty well. I thought it would be in the 50s, but I was way off. As our final tour show of the episode coming up. And, uh, man, so far, I mean, this tour, I think we're actually now two pop away from big size. But we are doing, I think, pretty well this tour because we're building our young group of guys we got and... Uh, you know, I, I think really this is going to be a, a big turning point now. This is, you know, the start of, of that building block to get those guys ready. And uh, I think it should be by the end of the year. It's, I mean, imagine what Daniel Maccabee is going to be like with Pop. You know, imagine what Gresham is going to be like now. After, you know, now he's going to probably be in the best Super Juniors again. This time around, I think he's going to do a little bit more <laughs> better than he did last time. Talk about perfect time when we finally book that Puma King singles match and he loses. And he uh, finally leaves. So yeah, we got the strong taping, then we'll be back for the day four show. Alright, so the uh, 
road to the last tour show of the episode. I, you know, really, you know, at this point, I would certainly say, you know, we can kind of do as far as maybe have a fun tag match of like Hiromu with Shingo and Naito with Sonata. That's a thought. Uh, but, you know, that'll just end in a double count out. So, what's the real big point of that? Uh, but, that was just a, a, a food for thought. You know, as far as a main event that could be. Yeah, you know, I just... Um, because really, you know, I, I, I think maybe doing a Golden Elite match, maybe, you know, it's... It's interesting. It's, it's very, very interesting. But, uh, you know, it, it. I would like to say, I think as far as uh, a fun little match, Kent and Jay White as a team, again, you know, I talked about before, they are really, really good. And I could use a win for both teams. You know, both guys could, could really use a win. Not sure who they're going to face, though. Part of me is like, ah, Disciples of Darkness will probably be a, the easy bet. And yeah, I, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, even though we did this in New Year's Dash, so maybe not. Um, so we'll have to, back to the drawing board we go for that one. Um, you yeah, don't want to do the books. Yeah, Super Iron Destroyers. Never done this before. So, uh, yeah, I mean, 18's fine, and just JY getting a win. But he can beat Cobb. Sure. Thing. And, uh, you know, we could build Caristico, uh, so, um, oh, I was hoping I could, hit, I thought I could see the show history there. Uh, this is what the strong taping looked like. Caristico and Ryu Lee, Flyer, Simon Grimm, Foundation, adding Fred Yei to the Foundation, as well as Christian Casanova, who's not yet made his debut with the Foundation, as they beat the team of Red, London, with Coughlin Connors. I got a 35 as well. I mean, uh, as long as the main event delivers on strong, I really couldn't care less. I was just trying to get guys over and trying to get them ready to go. So I want to do United Empire. Maybe not, though. Because it, it would kind of give away that we're wanting to build with something else as well. So probably ha hold off on that. So never mind on that. But I would like to get Alexander Hammerstone involved. And I think a tag match is kind of the best idea for this. We're going to do Juice. Juice with Hammerstone. Kind of do Tanahashi and... and uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Tanahashi with Ayota Yoshida. I don't know why I even <laughs> attempted to look at that. So we know, you know, the excellent chemistry for Hammerstone, or for rather Yoshida and Tanashi is he's gonna beat Yoshida as Hammerstone. Actually I don't know how I feel about that. Let's have Tanashi get a win. <laughs> Let's have him he can beat Juice. It, it's fine. It, it it's really fine. No big deal there. Never mind, I guess it's a huge deal. When did Juice become such a politic oh my god, he's got more pop than Tanahashi. I think. Oh no he doesn't. Okay, so you're really Okay. What a scumbag juice. So I, I have no backbone. Should have stood up for my guy there. Actually, let's have Hammerstone take a loss. It, it it's no big deal. I clicked on the wrong goddamn match. It's no big deal. Like he can lose. It's fine. We can keep juice protected too. Everybody wins. It's Hiroshi Tanahashi. <laughs> Get over yourself. He can lose. He can lose to him. So, uh, you know, I want to have some type of six man on this card. It, it will happen. Maybe, uh... I'm trying to think what we could do. Because we kind of did Dragon Masters, but we didn't do... We can add... Let's see, Mach Bay... Gresham and uh, throw Gavin in there. 
there as well again. So, from what I remember, yeah, they beat them. So, probably this time around, they're going to take the fall to this team, as it's going to be uh, Francesco, Eagles, and I will throw Yo in there. Just for the fuck of it. <laughs> yeah, we'll have this be this, the other show match, I guess. So we're gonna have uh, Yo beat McGavin. I, yeah, I think steal the show might be a good idea there. <laughs> kind of want it to be that, to be honest. I think that's what we'll do. No, nah, yeah, I, I think that's fine. Yeah, it's, it, it's fine. It's fine. We'll make it work. So the uh, opener. We'll uh, go back to the singles match. So we're going to have Kento. Kento and... It's hoping to be Yoshida, but he's already working. That's right. Harada? I, Harada can't really do it. I think who would be a good option. I mean, Sho could you really use a win, to be honest. He's got chilly momentum. Yeah, we did this in the Super Juniors. That's right, Kento was in it. Had the young line involved. Be getting the win this time. Uh, it won't be the opener, though. Or a little smarter than that. Plus, their pop's a little better, so it should do a little better this time. Hopefully. Uh, but the actual opener. Um, let's have a. Uh, let's think of Josh and Garcia in a tag uh, against somebody. <laughs> Not exactly sure who yet. But having Josh get a win. Poor Suzuki Gun's kind of taking a beating already. We can do Jarvis and Zach. So just kind of, you know, uh, Josh Huggs, he has, uh, as far as he's supposed to be taking on, uh, as far as on Strong, Supposed to be taking on the uh, strong champion in Zack Sabre Jr. in the upcoming shows. So this can kind of kickstart that. He's going to be the next challenger after Karisti Cole. So, just a little shove in, the, in that direction. We'll have him beat Jarvis. And this can be the master class match. go. Good call. <laughs> yeah, and now we can finally put together a main event. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, I mean, we could do Brody and Evil against the Cat Pit Bulls. That seems like a, you know, a main event to me. We could even... We, let's, um... Let's make it the Never Point Six Man title match. Yeah, so Yano out there. And Brody with Evil. And uh, we can throw Taurus out there too. As uh, just kind of. They haven't had their, a defense yet. Oh, we could throw one their way. I hate that. I don't want to change it, but <laughs> I hate that they're not over there. Uh, the champions. But uh, they will be retaining. You know, that's that's a tough one, too, because I really think they could probably win that match, and they probably should. But I don't want to throw it off too badly. 
Yeah, it's it's fine. I uh, will have um. We'll have Goto get a one. Nah. We'll have Ishii. We'll have Ishii beats Evil. Yep, that would have been done before. This would probably be a really good match. We shall see. A 59. Yeah, I figured that would do pretty well. Just kind of looking and see how driver said he did a 32. Definitely room to improve, but then much like a lot of the United Empire. Alexander with a 51. He pins Jarvis with a TKO. 32. Yep, that was not. They have good chemistry, too. Just the pop. It's not there, but this would have been pretty good had it been uh, the show with the shock error in 1028. And that's sprain again. That's the second type of sprain like that. Kendall Gobin caused that injury. It's a 57. Oof, as, um, yeah, a lot of the United Empire are off their game. So was Yo. Still did pretty well. Makabe was the best guy in the match. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Then Gresham, Francesco, Eagles, Yo, and then Gavin. Who took the fall as Yo pinned him in 12-11 with a super kick. 63, Tanashi and Yoshida. As a Tanashi pinning uh, Alexander Hermeson with a dragon suplex. Good stuff there. Juice with a 63, 69 for Tanahashi, 45 for Hammerstone. He actually did outperform Yoshida. I figured it just took a little bit of time to get him rolling because he's got the stats for sure. 74, wow. Yeah, I mean, Kenta and Jay White are pulling it together, and so did the Super Island Destroyers. Just Jay White with the Blade Runner, though, in 1736. And a 72 main event actually did worse than the co main. Very intriguing on that one, as, uh, the, uh, you know, right team did win, actually. It's close, though. It, it is really, really close. Actually, no. No, it, it, it was the wrong team, because Goto was off his game. But if Goto wasn't off his game, the right team would have won. As Ishii pins Evil with a vertical drop. Rainbuster, Kiana with a Kia Clip Bulls make their first defense of the Never Avoid Six-Man Tag Team titles. And a pretty fun... I think that's a fun way to end out that tour. As far as, like, the Road 2 shows, have a Never Avoid Six-Man title match on the last show. I think that makes a lot of sense. So now uh, we have a lot of time between the Osaka show, actually. Not a lot of time, like a couple of days. So we'll add everything to the pre-booking thing, and we'll uh, get this uh, last show of the episode rocking and rolling here. What a uh, what a tour. You know, we haven't really gained a lot, but we're uh, we're improving our roster slowly but surely. Guys are getting wins. Guys are uh, hopefully improving as far as pop goes. It's probably not going to be a tour that's going to make money. But um, I think it's... Uh, as far as... I think that'll probably be the last New Beginning in Sapporo show we'll ever do. We'll probably have a New Beginning in the Tokyo Dome. You know, that just makes sense for the next year. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, add everything. I'm just kind of curious. So, I mean, it's not crazy... You know, it, it, it's just under, just a tad under 500,000. You see the ticket sales aren't even in the million. Which, uh, if we just run in the Tokyo Dome one time, we do that no problem. Uh, we'll probably run the anniversary show actually in the Tokyo Dome. That'd probably be fun. Just a different type of atmosphere. Uh, so yeah, on to the new beginning in Osaka show. So, Alright, final show of the episode in Osaka. Yeah, that's, uh, so, I am curious to see, hopefully, I'm just kind of curious, I think we'll be able to use cable vision, I think. Perfect. We just have to have a minimum quality 52, which we should be able to do. Uh, it's a pay-per-view cable, just a cable-based pay-per-view company in America. We'll see how well it goes. Um, if someone, <laughs> it's just kind of funny, because obviously in the year 2021, I don't think really anyone's pony enough for a pay-per-view buy especially of a new japan show like you'd have to be up like it, it just it wouldn't make any goddamn sense but i uh because first of all you have to actually be up at that time and that it have to be actually able to be purchased on pay-per-view like it's a whole god it'd be a whole goddamn thing like there's just no way no one would buy like it and it plus it's not even like at the time it is like it'd have to be the next day then 
So you'd be spoiling them. It just wouldn't make any sense the way it's broadcasted and everything. But that's fine. Well, uh, who needs realism? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna be in Osaka, so we'll probably be at the Osaka Joe Hall Arena for this one. And, uh, so we'll just go ahead and add, obviously, the main event. Hiromu Takahashi, Tetsuya Naito. And, uh, yep, you see it there. We got a new Intercontinental Champion, and it's Hiromu Takahashi beating Tetsuya Naito for his Intercontinental title. What a win. Big time win. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, for the co-main, Shitoro Shino Kazuchika Okada, the man who beat Okada in the G1, can he find that same success again this time? Not so much, as Okada's going to beat him and retain his championship. What a great reign so far for Okada. So far, with Joe Doring and the Shitoro Shino matches. And then the Shelly Pac match, which will be awesome as well. I really love this card, as Pac and Shelly. Pac's going to retain. Pretty fun there. And then the golden... Oh, no, it's uh, the uh, chaos match, which I don't think I added. I did not, so we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way here. As uh, I knew I forgot uh, something. As it's uh, the sixth man of the cockpit bulls with Rocky Romero. Against uh, Brody, Evil, and Taurus. Oh, there we go. At uh, this time, though, uh, the... Dark Order team will be getting the win. As a, yeah, I mean, I guess we can keep it at 20. We're going to have Taurus beat Rocky. I'm sure Rocky loves that. Poor, poor Rocky Romero. Just really jabbing him out. we got to get him on some strong tapings, get him some wins. Oh, don't need to add any more matches on that screen. Oh, I got carried away. So, yeah, the Golden Elite Bullet Club match with uh, everything's good to go there. Bushi's going to win. That's just going to go 12 minutes. I don't think we have it for set to steal the show, though. I believe we're going to have that be uh, Joe Doring and Phoenix against Tomato Juice. Maybe not, though. I could be wrong. Yeah, we do not. Uh, Phoenix is going to beat Kaji Tomato there. Um, yeah, I think... Yeah, we'll leave that as that, and then we'll just change. Because, uh, yeah, that that will probably be for the best. Because I don't think the uh, that tag match is set as Steel the Shell. We'll see. Uh, the uh, 2v2v2, which actually, for the first time, I actually want it to be an elimination match, so I don't have to worry about that. The idea would be Dragon Masters get eliminated first by Chaos, and then United Empire beat Chaos. Kind of be how that would go. Uh, we're gonna have this set for Steel the Shell. Don't know how I feel about it, it being Steel the Shell, but I think it, it could go pretty well. We'll see. And then Hanma, Hayata Tamora in the Trial Series match, the first Trial Series match of the seven match trial. So Hanma will be winning. Which, again, if you're new to Japanese Pro Rest, that's pretty custom. So, this is a thing that I did on my custom. Well, I guess my personal save that I'm gonna be showing on the uh, secondary channel eventually i'm not sure exactly when that start time will be but eventually i will uh, so I, the post show press conferences i would usually do like a couple and i felt like for this show there's just so much going on that it just made sense to bring it back for this series <laughs> this might be a one-time thing we might do this for uh, you know for the rest of the series who knows uh but the first one or i guess the last one rather will be naito as uh, just commenting about his intercontinental title match and how, you know, he's so proud of Hiromu. Like, you know, he, he's someone that he has seen grown so much. And sure, it does suck to lose, but it it's definitely eases up on the stinging. Knowing that it's someone in LIJ. Knowing that it's someone like Hiromu who is destined for some big, big things in New Japan. And he thinks he's going to be the face of the company in a few years. Just really putting him over, you know. And, and saying that this guy, listen, it sucks that the, the belt's gone, but at least I keep an eye on her, you know, and she's just going to be right here in the stable, not leaving, you know, as far as my sight, and, uh, yeah, just, you know, some old-fashioned kind of, and I forgot to add it to the show, post show, uh, but just kind of putting them over, there's nothing more you can really say other than that, um, but that should be, that should go over pretty well, I'm assuming, 
and then we'll probably do uh, so during Golden Elite's press conference, G.O.D. attack with Fale, and then they challenge him to the rematch, the Loser Leaves Tan or Leaves <laughs> Loser Leaves New Japan match, uh, which don't think will happen on the anniversary show. I think we're gonna save that for Sakura Genesis. I think we might change our minds though. Might be. Uh, as I, I think again, I forgot to do it again. What an idiot. As uh, I don't know why it's taking so long. I think it's because I've loaded up a lot of the files. Oh, so. What in the world? Y yeah, that, that's fine. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, it's still there. I see. I see. I see what they're saying. As in Pac, after, in his pre uh, post-show press conference, says that the rightful next challenger is a person in his own stable, and it's Ray Phoenix, who's one of the best in the world. And he wants to prove that he is the best junior heavyweight in the world, and he's going to have to prove it against Ray Phoenix, and it should be a barn burner, you know. Phoenix and, and Pac. That's set for Sakura Genesis, because obviously... And also, uh, Pac is going to... And, and kind of Pac... And Ibushi, both in their press conferences, kind of put over, you know, that they're, the time that the heavyweight champion versus junior heavyweight champion match should be pretty awesome. And I, I agree. I think that's going to be sick. Is, did I? Okay, I was about to say that. Do it again. No. I don't know what happened. I guess I didn't add it to the pre-booking thing. I got so much going on. It's, it's hard to keep up with, I guess. So there we go. And then Hayata Tamara is just commenting on you know, what's it like to, to be so close to the end of his Young Lion stage and how he is just focused and he's looking to do what no other Young Lion has done and that's actually win his match. So that's just kind of some, some high praise for Hayata Tamora. At least some, uh, maybe not high praise, more like high hopes for Hayata Tamora. So the uh, pre-show matches that we'll be doing. Probably as far as tag match... Uh, I would love to, as far as who, I mean, again, Tanahashi's son of uh, Tanahashi and Yoshida, as I don't know why it's safe, as, um, yeah, we'll do Josh and, and Filthy Tom. Not a bad match, as we'll have Tanahashi beat Filthy Tom Lawler. Again, Tanashi in the poor pre-show. <laughs> what can you do? And uh, the next one, I guess we could have another tag. We didn't do a lot. We only had one in the entire card. Uh, yeah, Super Island Destroyers against... Uh, We can do ten Koji, but that might be a little too crass. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Tough, uh, yeah, because I think we'll, we'll do a junior heavyweight tag match. Actually, let's do Show and Yo. Show hurt. Show must be actually heart hurt. That's weird. I thought he was a uh, he was good to go. I guess he's not. So never mind on that. Uh, well, I'll I guess we could do Despy and Katamara. Man, you drew. When's the last time we? Oh man, January. I thought for sure it was going to be in 2020. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. I mean, Ishimori and and Des are in uh, in Phantasmo. We really need to do that. Kind of have guys that even are not really destined for the... You know, it's great to hype up a card and build up a card through a tour. But sometimes you just got to throw guys on the card. Just throw them on the card. On those tours. And that definitely should have been going on with like Tanahashi and Ishimori. And uh, even, you know, Kenton J.Y. You know, just... So really, uh, I, I did somewhat with Kenton J. White, but all in all, I think I kind of failed more than anything. 
Yeah, the only person that's used too much is Taurus and Tomato. That's not bad. And Nick Jackson's got the knee pain, but other than that, I think we're ready to go. Let's uh, run this final show of the episode here. Yep, figured that'd do pretty well as uh, Ishimori with the uh, yes lock again. Not a pin. 67 as uh, Tanahashi with Yoshida. Tanahashi with a 78. <laughs> Crazy. Gets the one with the high fly flow. And Tanashi Sun is the man. Yoshida almost outperformed uh, Filthy Time Lawler because of the chemistry boost. That's crazy. 43. Look at Hayato Tamora. <laughs> Just outperforming Hanma. No problem. The first to seven. And uh, then we have the 2v2v2 junior tag match. And so, so this is a number one contenders match. Wow, well, I mean, look at Rob, uh, Robbie Eagles and Francesco, though. Huh? Actually, did pretty well. Crazy the Maka Bay and Gresham, though, outperforming them. As uh, order eliminations went as I wanted to, so that's perfect as well. Really, the, the only guy that was bad was Wado. Everybody else did really well. Well, they got 45, though. That just pop-wise. Everything was really good, though. I'm, I'm happy with that. Whoa, a 71. All right, so Phoenix with an 82. That's crazy. Uh, then Joe Doring with a 70. Robinson with a 65. And Gadget Mouth 53. Just a little too short. But Phoenix with the Meteora in 1813. So I got a 71. 67 for the six man of the elite Bullet Club. That's cr I mean, bad luck fall, eh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's, uh, Ibushu with an 86. 74 for Matt Jackson. And 65 for Nick Jackson. I'm sure by the way you're seeing these ratings, you're like, well, I know which one is fucking losing there. <laughs> As uh, Bushi with the Phoenix Splash and the uh, Loser Leaves New Japan match. Way to go, Bushi, though. Way to fucking carry everyone. A 75 for uh, for Chaos in Dark Order. I'm starting to think that the Sapporo show was set as a tour show and not an active show. Because these ratings are crazy. I could be wrong, though. It was Taurus... Pinning Rocky with the Infernal Suplex. Pretty the best guy in the match. With an 80, 78 for Ishii. 66 for Evil. 56 for Goto. Fucking Hiroki Goto's just falling off a cliff. And then uh, Taurus and Rocky did the same with 54s. Not bad, though. 75, we'll take that. Holy shit, a 92? Dear God. As uh, Pac with the Black Arrow on Shelly and 2446. I mean, what's more to say? I mean, that is incredible. No chemistry pop, or no chemistry boost, or anything like that. Nobody's even in the 90s, and this gets a 92. That's crazy. I'm just kind of curious. They're cheap. So what's going on there? Just everyone did a really good job. It's just bonus for selling, and momentum, and charisma. Just that everything really clicked there. Yeah, and then even the red, man, that just everything went well, is what happened there. 86 for... Uh, wow, Ashino outperformed him, too. That's crazy. As uh, Okada with the Rainmaker in 31-39. That's his second offense of the U.S. title. That rain is coming together. Let's see what the main event does. Good luck topping it. Wow. Just fell off a cliff. <laughs> I can't believe that. It's Hiromu with a 66. What the fuck happened there? He's usually, like, really good. I, I don't know what happened. It's uh, just... Uh, didn't do a good job slowly building the match. Low morale, inconsistency, and low morale as well. Damn. 36 minutes, though, as Hiromu gets the one to time bomb number two. He's your new Intercontinental Champion. See so, yeah, how the post-show stuff does. Had that set for star quality, I wasn't really sure. I probably should have been Charisma, to be fair. But, as you all saw, and then Pac making the right full challenge with Phoenix fucking challenge there, and that goes over pretty well as well. Alright. Yeah, increased up up in 20 regions. Got an 82 out of it. Can you imagine, though, if Pac and Shelly main evented? That's crazy, though. I mean, that match was gonna be awesome, but I didn't think it was gonna be a 92, for God's sakes. Well, I mean, who to put over? Uh, you know, it's... We probably shouldn't be putting over these people, but they kinda need the morale fix, so... Let's, uh, let's we're going to give some hugs, Val. And, uh... And then... The park. That's crazy. Seem pleased, pleased, happy. 
Awesome. Well, thank you all for watching. And uh, what a way to end that episode out with the best show. My God. And it wasn't even the match I thought was going to be the best. Fucking Shelly and Pac. God, and they <laughs> taking no prisoners. That junior heavyweight title scene is just crazy. I mean, you had the Christico match that uh, made him into the Fantastic Mania tour. And you got Pac and Shelly being the best match on the tour and the fucking best match in the series. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, well, now because we've got Cablevision with us, uh, you know, having a pay-per-view distributor, we should be big probably in no time now. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. We'll see how we do as far as uh, the anniversary show, because we're going to have that be probably in the Tokyo Dome. I, I think the show's going to be a throwaway show, though. We're going to set it as, so it's not a normal show. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the anniversary tour... Well, not even the tour, just the anniversary show. We're just going to have it one show, not a tour. Uh, you know, what we know the main event, Abushi and Pac, which... Sick. <laughs> you know, that's going to be awesome. How about that we... We almost made money. We might. We just might. It's going to be close. We'll see what happens to that ticket sales. And, uh... You know, everything kind of goes... Wow, the merch, though, for that... For JR is crazy. Over a million dollars in merch. But yeah, um, although we do have a Road 2 anniversary show, never mind. Yeah, we got a couple. Yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to have the anniversary show be an episode. I think that's going to be the safest way of going about that. So yeah, it's not the New Japan Cup is next. Anniversary tour. So yeah, uh, we'll have... Uh, we're we're going to do Hiromu. Or not Hiromu. We're going to do uh, Kotobushi and Pac. We might just have to do that six-man of uh, the Bucks with... Well, no, we can't do that, so never mind. So that will be Sakura Genesis, that match. Yeah, I mean, we're really planning ahead here, but that's kind of the best way to go about it. <laughs> you kind of have to know your end game going into stuff. Wow, Hiromu's... I don't know how his morale was so bad. I don't understand what happened with him, but... I mean... How's $10,000? Jeez, what the fuck happened? Hundred thousand. Okay. <laughs> Two fifty. I mean, is he just broke? <laughs> like what's five hundred thousand? Okay. So something is severely wrong with uh, Hiromu's morale. Okay, never mind. It just took over a million dollars to fix that. So they weren't making money this month. That's fun. Boy, I love that. <laughs> it's, uh, what a sour way to end that episode. Thank you all, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everyone.